Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Lauren. I'm a photographer and attorney. We have a lot going on on this channel and honestly, I am loving it. So thanks for being here. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any upcoming uploads. Today, we're gonna do another tutorial for Thrivecart. Thrivecart is my favorite cart software to be able to sell my digital products and courses that I have in my educational shop. If you wanna check out my educational shop, make sure that you click the link down in the description. Today we're actually gonna be talking about how to set up a course or a product in Thrivecart Learn. So I don't necessarily want to pay for something that's a little bit more expensive like Kajabi, whereas Thrivecart Learn actually comes with my lifetime subscription to Thrivecart. So I paid one price for Thrivecart and I have it for my entire life. So I don't have to have a recurring subscription payment every single month, which is amazing. Now you can upgrade to Thrivecart Pro and I think that there's some added benefits, but honestly for me, I just have the regular Thrivecart subscription. It was a one-time fee, I think of like $4.95 and it's been well worth the investment. There is one downside to Thrivecart Learn and I actually don't consider it a huge downside, but you do have to host your videos. If you have a course, for instance, you do have to host your videos on a platform like Vimeo or YouTube, and then embed those videos into the Thrivecart Learn software, the Thrivecart Learn platform. And so I don't think that's a huge deal. My course in particular was hosted on YouTube previously. What I really like about Thrivecart Learn is that they have to log in to be able to see the content. And so I'm currently switching over my course to be completely on Thrivecart Learn. All right, I have Thrivecart pulled up here on my screen. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit smaller and I'm gonna show you my account in Thrivecart. We're going to go right through it step by step and I'm just going to do a screen recording so you can see everything that's going on in here. Honestly, I don't hold anything back here on this channel. I want you to succeed and so I'm here to give you the resources and the tools to make that happen. All right, here we are in my Thrivecart Learn portal and this is the back end of my Thrivecart account. The way I got here is that I clicked this graduation cap and it took me to Thrivecart Learn. Now you can see that I have my courses here, but like I said before, you don't necessarily have to just have courses on Thrivecart Learn. I've been using it to deliver all sorts of products to my clients, not just courses. So let's look into my Black Friday bundle. So we're gonna click edit, and I'm just gonna show you how I have it set up here in Thrivecart. There's so many ways that you could customize this. I'm gonna show you the back end of this system, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like to a student's perspective. So there's so many different ways you can really customize your course. Again, for me, this is not a course. This is actually different templates that I have set up for clients to get as part of the Black Friday bundle. But here I'm able to put, you know, a logo. So that's really nice. I'm able to customize the title of what this course is. I'm able to write a description here. And then there's other advanced things that I can unlock with Learn Plus. But again, like I said, I have the basic Thrivecart lifetime subscription. I'm very happy with the basic subscription of Thrive Thrivecart. I have no doubt that there's plenty of amazing um, other features and opportunities if you want to get the plus version, but I personally don't have that. So let's move into setting up modules and lessons. So each of these modules, um, obviously all, they all have the same titles from the module to the lesson because this is not a course. I have um, basically different modules set up so that it can be clear what everyone is getting. And so for me, since this is not a course, I'm not having multiple lessons inside each module. I'm just having one lesson, which is how to download your product. So let's go to edit page. This is the module page. There's so many ways that you can customize this. So you can add a download, you can add a button, you can add text, you can add an image, a heading, a video, like literally so many options. You can also make sure to add all of your custom colors. And actually this needs to be changed. That's not correct. So I need to change that. Um, so it's really customizable and great. Now let's go into the lesson. So the lesson is where I got a little bit more customized in my particular bundle. So I made sure that the module name was correct. I put a header here and an image. And then I have a description of what it is that they're downloading and then a link to that download. So I really like this. It's really easy. And there's, again, so many ways to customize this. So if, for instance, I wanted to add another heading, I would just drag and drop it here and I would say heading, right? And I can change how 
the text looks. So I can do um, italicize, underline, strike through, whatever it might be that I want to do. I can also change the font here. And I can also change the text color, which is great. You can also save certain colors and get recently used colors on here. You can change the font size, the line height, letter spacing, all uppercase or all lowercase or capitalized case. It's really awesome. So I'm going to save that. Actually, I want to delete it because <laughs> I don't want that there. And then if I want to, let's say if I want to put a video in here. So you have to have your video hosted somewhere else. You can have it hosted on like Vimeo or YouTube and then you have to put your embed code in here for the video to show up. If I want to do a button, again, I can customize the button color. I can customize the text. I can put the link to the button right here and I can have a different border. I can have it smaller. I can have it more rounded. I can have it more square, uh, whatever it might be. So let's go ahead, whenever you're ready and you're done creating your course or your product in Thrivecart Learn, you click publish. And let's go ahead and look at the preview. So let's go look at what it looks like from a student's perspective, okay? So this is how it looks when my student logs in. They're gonna see their name up here at the top. They're gonna have to log in with a email and a password. And I have a few different ways that they are able to see the stuff that they've gotten. So this is how it looks in terms of like the modules. Remember we were editing each module and then we were editing the lesson within each module. So you can see here that there's multiple modules showing up and then one lesson in each because these are all just PDF downloads or links to templates. So let's go back into the lead, temp the lead magnet template that we were just working on. So this is what it looks like from a student's perspective. I click on the module, then I click on the lesson, and it looks pretty much exactly the same as we were looking at it from Thrivecart, just without all the editor stuff. Honestly, I think it looks very professional. I love the simplicity of it. And the fact that it's just embedded right into Thrivecart is so awesome. So I also want to show you how it looks when a client has multiple offers from you in their dashboard. So it's really easy for them to see all the different products they have from you. And I think it encourages your client to move through other offers because it's really easy for them to access everything. Let's go back to the back end and look at a few more features. So we can go over to course options. Here we can input the email address that we want people to be able to get a hold of us at. Um, it also has options for what to do if a subscription payment for this course fails. You can also customize the registration page. So I've done this, I've just put my logo, I've put um, just a few text and descriptions here. I've also put my brand color here and I've just customized the buttons to feel more like me. You can also enable a custom domain for this course, but you have to have learn plus to do that. And I just don't think that that's important for me. So I'm okay with, without that. Another cool thing is that you can promote this course in the student dashboard. So you can show this course to other students who have not yet purchased it. You can also customize the course's login page. So it's really similar to the registration page is how I have it set up. You can also set up rules based on student behavior. There's definitely different options for behavior rules that I think could be fun to play with. I just haven't done it yet. All right, let's save and exit there. We always wanna make sure that we are saving at all times, if you saw my previous Thrivecart tutorial, you know that I'm a saving fiend. Um, I think it's really cool that you can also do instant course access or dripped course access. You can choose how your course content will be delivered based on a time period, a day of the month, a specific calendar date, or after a trial or rebuild. So the last thing I wanna show you, we've seen like all the Thrivecart learn features pretty much here, but I also wanna show you how to set it up so that when someone purchases the course or the product in Thrivecart, how they get directed to Thrivecart Learn. Because I think this can be a little bit tricky to understand if you're not like familiar with it, if you're very new to Thrivecart. So let's go back to my products and let's, for instance, take the Black Friday Photographer Bundle. So we're gonna edit this. So when someone purchases a product, the way that they access the product, I'm gonna say, add them to my membership site instead of sending them to a URL or displaying the total invoice. So before using Thrivecart Learn, what I would do is I would send students to a URL and they'd be able to download their products or their courses there. So it was a lot to keep track of. Here I'm adding them to my membership site in Thrivecart Learn and I'm able to choose which 
product I want for them to get through Thrivecart Learn. You also have the option of allowing them to do a bump offer, but that bump offer needs to be in Thrivecart Learn as well. You can't do a bump offer that sends them to a URL. And that's it. You just want to make sure that you save and get the URL every single time. If you're interested in checking out Thrivecart and Thrivecart Learn, I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well. It's a link for lifetime access to Thrivecart for one low price. So it's really great. It's not going to last forever. And I would definitely make sure to get on it if you're interested in Thrivecart at all, if you're wanting to sell more products in your business. If you like Thrivecart, if you want more education around this specific topic, leave a comment down in the description to let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And I can't wait to see you in the next YouTube video. Bye.